I mean, I pushed the button, yes, but please, come on. Oh, what? I went the right way! Hey, all my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Welcome back to the penultimate episode of season number one of the West Bromwich Albion career mode. Now, this is a very important episode because we could potentially know whether we're making it into the automatic promotion places or potentially if we will be in the, the promotion playoffs, which we will see in the next episode coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to show you guys, the assist leader is uh, John Swift. And it, it goes without saying, it makes a lot of sense now why I have done what I've done with the team going forward. And as you can see right there, I've dropped the captain. It's a massive call to drop Jed Wallace, who's been very good for us. Although of late he hasn't, which is why I'm quite happy to start John Swift in that attacking midfielder role. So he will start the next few games for us and we'll go from there and see how things progress quite nicely. But in the time being, of course, we don't have a captain on the field. So Lloyd Kelly takes the armband. So I just wanted to show you guys the schedule ahead for this massive episode. This month is crazy. It's cooking with a lot of really good games. But we start off with Swansea. Then we move on to Norwich, which is going to be very tough to say the very least. Then we'll, we'll, we'll go to my arch nemesis, Preston North End, before playing away to the likes of Coventry City. And then we will end off the episode with a massive cracker of a game against Southampton. At least it's at home. That's all I will say. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, they've... they've... Why has Townsend not made his way down to... Oh my god, Woodman with a somewhat double unintentional save. But Yates almost gets them the goal to go ahead. And now they've got a corner. And let's see what we can do here. But that was very frustrating. Townsend, he lost the ball. And then he just jogged back. Now I'm like, no, oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that with me. Good ball in. Fantastic, actually. Come on. Who, who's waiting for it? Oh, it's going to be an own goal, but I don't mind. I don't care. At least we've got something to talk about. Finally, a bit of movement in the second half to begin things off with. Flashing it across the face of goal. Comes off the defender. Ends up in the back of the net. Technically, the defender fouls Josh Madger in that situation. Uh, trying to <laughs> get the ball out of the net. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll take the goal. I'll take the, the points at this moment in time. Great ball up here for Grady Dean Garner. Make that run on. He's not made the run. He's not made the run. Back into Connor Bradley. Ball in. <laughs> that, that was, that was uh, trying. Trying his hardest. Oh, great ball. Well, well won there by oh, John Swift. John Swift wins it perfectly. And then he fell off my chair. But John Swift wins it perfectly. Back in from Grant. Fantastic little finish. Bottom corner. Things you'd like to see. Oh, good ball in. Oh, well, one in there by Malumbi. Just making sure he gets the first touch on that. Oh, that, that was... Our, our midfield has come up super clutch for us with, our, with their blocks and their tiny, tiny interceptions. Uh, we're just going to roll it out right here. Play it to the, the fullback. We should probably make some changes now that I'm thinking about it, shouldn't we? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I am going to make some changes. So... Obviously, I, I haven't been overly impressed with Townsend, so I'm thinking Trainer can come on. Swift has been very good, but he is going to come off as well. Look at him, he's dead tired. Um, and those are the only changes I'm really going to make. As you can see, Sarmiento, Taylor, and Pippa are all somewhat in, or not injured, but like not fully fit. So we will rotate the team for that next one. Massive tie against Norwich. And I just held it up extremely well. This time into Townsend. Back into Colin Grant. Colin Grant. Oh, I thought he was going to get tackled there. Carries on with his run. Extraordinary run. And he puts it past the goalkeeper for a 3-0 lead. I'll take that every damn day of the week. And now our subs get to come on at least. Uh, making those uh, three changes to the team. Three different goal scorers, which is also good. Come on. Jed Wallace. He's made a darting run down the middle of the field. Puts it into a great spell. Oh my god, what a finish. Gardner Hickman. Well, Hickman Garden, I can't remember the, the, the double barrel. But point being is, man can barely finish when he's got just a standard straight shot at goal. He hits the post, the crossbar, the, the goalkeeper. This one, he's sliding in, puts it past the goalkeeper. 4-0 on the day. What a way to start and open up this episode. Very quick thinking there. Oh, wow. Wow. That was some crazy ball movements. And our captain, Jed Wallace, pokes home the fifth. And that's going to give him a lot of confidence. And now that's going to give me a headache 
in terms of the selections for the Norwich City game. I must say, Trainer with that ball, actually, this is not going to do it justice. That that ball from Trainer, that first time pass, like look at this. We we went it back in midfield, beautifully laid off. Gardner Hickman lays it off to Colin Grant. Thank you very much. Little back pass there into Trainer. Trainer touch. He sees the pass, matches there, first time. Now look at the Swansea set of defenders. They are all over the place. Let's it run straight past him into the likes of Jed Wallace, who calmly, as you like, puts it home for 5 mil on the day. Well, I'll definitely take that performance, especially in the second half. We cannot afford to start off this slow against the likes of Norwich City. But if we can put in a second half performance for the full 90 minutes, I think Norwich are all but beaten. So just having a look at the team, Norwich are playing a 4-4-2 flat. In their last five games, they've drawn two and won three, and they're currently on a three-game winning streak. So they are going to be very hard to beat. But I would just like to show you guys, you know, the, the tactical vision and everything. They're going to try and implement a gig and press. Of course, they have two strikers up front who are very clinical and will put the ball in the back of the net if the opportunity is given to them. So we can't afford for that to happen. And might I say, their key defensive player is Ajay, who we obviously sold to them. So that's not great. Uh, and of course, their key attacking player is Sara or Sar, I don't know. But um, yeah, so they are currently three points ahead of us as well. Uh, so obviously, if we beat them, we go level with them on 82 points. Okay, it's a massive away tie. Uh, and this this definitely does swing the, the, the momentum of our season. Because if we would... Oh my god. No, 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 no. Caprius Chase, oh no. Oh my god, what a save from Woodman. But if we can win this game... Our season momentum continues to build, but if we lose it, oh, I'd hate to know what happens. But uh, that was a crucial mistake. Fantastic save from the goalkeeper, but we can't. We cannot afford to start off like this, especially away from home. We don't even have the crowd on our on our side. So, good tackle. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Capri, fantastic save again from Woodman. I tell you what, he's probably been our signing of the summer or the season. Um, because yeah, he has made some crazy good saves. Like honestly, he's kept us in games. He's he's helped us win games. Come on, win that. Thank you. Use your speed. Get out of here. Who? Sara. Ball down the line into Magic. Can't hold it up. Can't win the ball either. Goddamn! In the pocket of the defender. Okay. Now we got Townsend. He's chasing his man. Make sure you're there. Well done, Townsend. Good ball in. Fantastic ball in, but Lloyd Kelly's there. He got the captain's armband. Oh my god, and what a hit first time from the striker. Yeah. That sucks. We, we're, 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 we've been on the back foot the entire game uh, since literally the kickoff. And um, he, yeah, but it just falls him so perfectly and he puts it in the back of the net. Surely that's a, yeah, I was going to say, surely that's a corner. Somehow, somewhere, we've shipped hard our way to a corner kick. We're going to whip it into the box. Can Yokosu win the header? I think he can. He's bubbled it. The most reliable goal scorer I probably have from a corner. And he's bubbled the header. He's beaten his man. He's done the hard part, but just can't finish. Oh, great ball. You see, this is what I mean. We're good at playing through the press. Into Madja. Blocked away. Grant. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Into Grady Diangana. Save. Oh! <gasps> Oh no! How is he missed? It's an open net! Please tell me that's come off the defender. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, at least it came off the defender. I'll take that. Okay, Yakusu, I need you. Although it looks like Capri has gone into the center there, which I will take as well. Although Yakusu beat his man this time! Took up a different position and they were caught off guard. But I'll take that. It's 1 1. Probably should have scored from the open play, but I'll take the damn set piece. Diangana, oh my god, he's done it. Plays it off, Colin Grant! On his dominant foot, he's put it wide. That is disgraceful. What a ball. What a ball in. Oh my days. What a fantastic ball. You know what? We are going to make our changes. I, I, I know we make them around the 60th minute, but I think, you know, momentum is slightly shifting in their favor right now. And I don't want that. So we are going to take, take off the Ghana, bringing on Jed Wallace for Swift. And, um, hmm. Madge is looking kind of tired. So 
we're going to make her have a makeshift uh, striker winger play here. Um, you know what? Actually, let's bring on Pippa. Let's bring on Pippa for Townsend. Obviously, Trainer does come in. And then we will leave the one sub for later. No, no, no. Get, get, get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, mates. Just get in the way of the of the, the attacker. You're a defender, trainer. Oh, what a save. What a save again. And of course, the third time he was lucky. And now we're 2 1 down. No. How have. What, what are you doing, you, you idiots? Why are you running out? That sucks. Like, he starts running out there, I'm like, whoa, whoa. That's a Palmer mistake right there. Well, 3 1 losers. Uh, the baggies getting absolutely deflated. Uh, and, and, and yeah, it it's just was not a great game. Um, just frustrating, all ends up. Um, they, they pounced on us from the get go, and yeah, it was. I have no words. I have no words. Bang, great ball. Just take it yourself. Just take it yourself, mate. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. What more? Was it was it Griffiths? My bad. I think they defend as what more, but what what a save. Back to back great saves from the man himself. Well one there from Lloyd Kelly. Oh, great little around the corner pass. Binds it. Oh my god, this keeper is making save after save. Well, it's been a good 15 minutes of domination from us, but. I would be expecting a goal by now. Into Yokushu. You know what? I'm just going to pump it from distance. <laughs> you absolute filthy man. Look at this. I've, I've gone with power shots. I'm really bad with power shots as well. And he's just leathered that one. Yeah, stop that, Griffiths. Pick that out of your net, mate. He is leathered. That, I even thought I put too much power as well, but I'll take that every day of the damn week. Good ball. Fantastic ball. Oh my god. He's asked for the one to Connor Bradley. He has been attacking as can be. That's his second shot of the game. He is get, he is bombing on forward. You can see he's trying to show himself in his attacking qualities as a right back, of course. And he's got his second goal of the season. Another fantastic save. Wow, Woodman is really keeping us in this one. Um, yeah, we, we're probably going to make some changes here. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we did rotate the team. Like, Wallace came in. Uh, Taylor's also started. Um, so, we're going to bring on Grant. And, of course, we are going to bring on Sarmiento for Magia. Make that little switch over there. And then I'm thinking Malumbi can come off for Gardner Hickman. I mean, we should give Pippa a game. Yeah, I think so. Pippa on the right hand side. Good ball in here to Colin Grant. Finally makes it 3 0. And they were, they were, you know, the momentum was slightly shifting in their favor. Well, big man Grant has something to say about that. Okay, we can maybe get one more attack out of this game. I mean, I wouldn't mind four. I would like four. Maybe an assist for Pippa. Or, oh, at least the ball went through. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll take that a 3-0 victory off the back of a 3-1 drubbing from Norwich. That's a good, perfect way to bounce back from a, a really terrible result. So I'll take that on board and now we move on. Look at this guy. He doesn't, he, I've, I've dropped him for like a game. He literally starts the last game and he's coming at me with, oh, you don't care about us as players. You, all you care about is winning. You damn right. That's all I care about is winning. It's getting us promoted as a team. Because let's be honest, Jed Wallace, in a few seasons' time, you're not going to be here. So who do you think you are? But you know what? I'm going to be nice to him. Um, it's not about you. It's about... It is... You know what? Actually, there's a part of me that wants to deliver this answer. But I know it's going to probably like make him cry. So I'm just going to say it's not as simple as that. Son! Uh, yeah, you just got son. But the, the, the cojones on this man say, you don't care about us. You don't care about the dressing room. Of course I do. But the more, more important thing is... It's the team above the individual, and that's how it's always been. So before our massive tie against Coventry City, I just want to show you guys some of the transfers that I will be looking to, or those position, those particular positions, I should say, that I will be looking at to try and you know bring in some more quality for next season. So we are looking for a defender. 
you know, a right back as well, um, maybe to back up the likes of Connor Bradley going forward. I don't think that Pepper as a right back is going to last. I think maybe progressing him slightly up the field, playing him as a winger, more of a defensive winger, would help uh, quite a bit. Um, we are also looking for a defensive midfielder because obviously Cullen's injured and we don't know how he's going to come back in return. So we are going to look to try and replace him. I do see Sandy Lekonga though. And I think that he might be a fantastic move to potentially make. I mean, I think we can get him on loan for that first season. And if not, I don't think he would be that expensive going forward. We are also looking for a first team quality player in the forward line potentially as well. Uh, a striker, preferably, trying to obviously replace Brandon Thomas Asante, maybe even potentially replace the likes of Josh Madger. Um, and then I am also looking for younger players for the future, of course, in a few seasons' time that can progress and step up into the first team limelight. Oh, hello! Oh my god, that is filthy, you disgusting man. That should probably be a red card to start off the game. Jack Bidwell, you absolute dickhead. But we've got Trainer here, plays a beautiful ball down the line to Colin Grant, who has his man on toes. Look at that, look at that, attacking at an angle. Loads of space and Grant with the first goal on the game. 10 minutes in, 1-0 to the Baggies. Can we build momentum for that massive tie against Southampton? Good ball. Great ball from Trainer. Whips it into Grant, France into Nadja. Makes it look beautifully into the other left, well, the other fullback now. Bradley whips it in, back post, Grant is there with a, oh my god, he's put that in the back of the net. I will take that again. 16 minutes gone, the blink of an eye, 2-0. Good ball. Oh my god, Lloyd Kelly from the back, all the way through to the front. I'm selfish. I don't care if it's a sweaty goal, I care that it's 3-0. Here we are going to make some changes. Um, yeah, just having a look here. Madger is looking tired as for always. He does get quite tired these days. Uh, Pepper's going to come off for Wallace, Sock with Grant, Samian too. There we go. Um, Taylor's going to come on for Capri, uh, Capri, who has made quite a few mishaps and mistakes, uh, which is very much uh, unlike him of late, but it's okay. And um, the standard son of Gardner Hickman, he's going to come in off the bench. Massive ball straight down the line to Samian to. Back oh my god, he has absolutely obliterated him. Did he, did he get that mad that I flicked the ball over him or something? That that was so uncalled for. So, so uncalled for. Yeah, probably deserve a red. Binks. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Swift is also good on free kicks, isn't he? Mmm. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. You know what? If somebody ever did this in real life and they played for Man United and they shot from this angle, I would like lose my shit. But this is uh, EAFC. And John Swift! He's not done anything. <laughs> See, if that, if that happened in real life, I would have lost my goddamn mind. But Swift's gonna whip this one in from the corner. He's gonna make good. He's gonna make good. I knew it. He delivered in a beautiful. Thing. You know what? It was technically all part of the plan, if you ask me. Uh, just whip it in. Quite nice, composed as you like. Finish this. Like, what is the point of that? Like, you, you literally just pass me the ball. Make that run, Wallace. If you may, if you score this goal, I will start you in that next game. On my life. Okay, you stop. Well, we know one player guaranteed for that next game, and that is the, the captain of the club, Jed Wallace. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you very much. Massive ball over the top, just straight over the top. It's that wider. Oh my days. Jed Wallace. Jed, he's a man on a damn mission right now. There we go. That, that, that's the real Jed Wallace. Come on. I, I, was, I was getting too hyped for him. Like, oh my goodness. But he showed his true colors. Well, 5-1 on the day. We, uh, it's safe to say we have bounced back quite effectively off of that 3-1 uh, lo loss. sorry, uh, And we are now building momentum quite effectively for that next uh, massive tie against Southampton. Oh my god. You know what, that uh, honestly, gr Southampton have dropped out of the top two and Norwich are in pole position. I know they've played a game more. Yes, we're about to play the Southampton game now, but they're in pole position to come in the top two and get automatic promotion. If we had beaten them, that would be us. I mean, uh, technically we'd still be on, on level points, but 
three more points onto us, we would have 88 points and be one point behind Southampton at that point. And if we end up beating Southampton, that means we would go into automatic promotion. God, that's, oh, that, that does great me ever so slightly. But I mean, it's safe to say that we will definitely be in the playoffs come, come obviously, the, the promotion playoffs. But I kind of want that automatic promotion. Huddersfield, Birmingham City, as well as Ipswich are all in the bottom three. Ipswich and Plymouth Argyle tied on points, but the goal difference is essential here. Hmm. And uh, yeah, Preston North End are, they're not safe, obviously. They, they have uh, one more draw to do before they'll be safe. But yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, Huddersfield and Birmingham are basically down, I would say. I mean, if, if they can win their last two games, they will probably stay up. But yeah, that's not looking good for them. Okay, so Southampton. Oh my God, look at that terrible form. Four draws and a loss in the last five. If we lose to them, I'll be so mad. But they're playing a 4-3-3, holding, of course, with Downs, Arriba, and Alcaraz in the midfield. That's a good midfield, to be honest. Uh, Bazunu starts in between the sticks. I remember the last time when we played them, actually. they we were, we were doing quite well, and then, obviously, Palmer let in some stinkers. You live and you learn. As for their tactical vision, they said to win play, of course, that makes sense. They do have strong wingers. Uh, key attacker is Aribo, with the key defensive player being Carl Walker Peters. Now, if they do not get promoted, here's a player I would strongly, strongly consider in potentially bringing to the club. Born into Magic, fantastic. Make that run, Magic. He's made the. F oh my god, we're in uh, immediately, and uh, Hardwood. Oh god, he is so strong. He is incredibly quick, incredibly strong. Hardwood, uh, Bellas, or Bellas Hardwood, or whatever. The, the Man City youth reject, captain, whatever you want to call him. Oh no, uh oh. I'm, I'm about to eat. Oh, what a save! What a freaking save! I will take that every day of the damn week. Thank you, Freddy. You have provided me with a, a nice little bit of emotional quality, and the Zuna provides them with some stability at the back. God damn, that should be 1 0. Either side should be 1 0. They should have scored, we should have scored. So, balances out effectively, but Yokoslu! Back post here! Oh my god, who was that? That beat Magin there with that downs. Oh, into Johnny Boy Swift. Swift. Ball over the top. To the back post area! He's 77 rated, by the way. This man has, has grown incredibly well so far for the, like, the, the games that we have had with them. Um, obviously, we missed the first half or the first or the start of the season or whatever. Um, and then they fired the old manager, brought us in. And Josh Madger has been incredible in that time. Towering in head at the back post. Things you like to see. Bazunu, who? And uh, just looking at some of the stats at half time, apart from position, which is in their favor with 55%, we have more or less dominated the stats column. More shots, more expected goals, more passes, more tackles, more tackles won. Okay, they have more interceptions, yes, but that's because we've been slightly sloppier in that final third. Um, but yeah, two massive saves from either goalkeeper. I will say that. Give uh, Bazunu credits as well as Woodman. They kept that game 0 0. In like the span of like two seconds, it was one attack than the other, and both goalkeepers pulled out some mad saves. Oh, massive, massive! Oh my days, Johnny Boy Swift, how have you missed that? That could have been 2 0. Like, how has he missed this? He's missed the whole net as well. I mean, to be, I think maybe Bazuna had that, but oh, that's a bad miss. Oh, hit it, hit it, just. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, we need to make some changes. And uh, uh, you know what? I, I kind of just realized I lied to this man because he did score in that, that opportunity. But um, I still didn't start him. So he is going to come on for Swift, who did make that horrendous error and missed. Um, Sami Enzo is going to come on for Grady Dean Garner. And those are the only changes I'm going to make for now. What a save, Freddy. I love you, man. I love you. 65 minutes. Those subs are coming on the field, so we have some fresh legs in those attacking areas. Win that.
Nobody jumps. Not one person jumps. Uh, apart from this, this idiot here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, defenders and goalkeeper. Like, what? We know we've been very good on set pieces, but the goalkeeper didn't jump at it. Okay, he did kind of jump. But how did he not get there? Oh, no, 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 no. I absolutely bloody well refuse. This is BS to the highest. Uh, Garden Hickman, you are on ground, you're off. What do you mean? I mean, I pushed the button, yes, but please, come on. Oh, what? I went the right way! I went the right way. I held the button, the, the analog stick in that direction. Cheating. Look at this, they've become from Barcelona. Look at this! Look, look at this passing, man! You are a bunch of frauds. Honestly, every single one of you is a useless twat. We, we've allowed Southampton in back-to-back -back games against us. Go down and then we, we've scored and, oh, we've been the best team today and this useless bunch of twats has, has cost us. God, I hate to end an episode on a loss. Honestly, like that was... The two tough games that we had this month, we bottled them. We absolutely botched them. Like those were, the others were gimmies. We were supposed to beat them, but against the teams that, you know, it's a, it's up in the air, we've we've thrown those games and we've lost both of them 3-1. Are we just that bad and that far off of the good teams? So yes, my people, we are going to end things off right here. It does suck to end it off on a loss. I hate ending off on a loss, but as you can see, we've got Leicester in first place, which we do face up next and then we'll end off our season against Millwall so one thing is for sure we will be in the playoffs for potential promotion <sighs> I would have loved an automatic promotion there anyways until the next time smash the like button subscribe and I hope you have a damn great day I'm out